Καλώς σας βρήκαμε. Καλώς σας βρήκαμε. Hey, thank you for joining us today. Another episode of Cooking with Greek People. And uh, today we have with us Freddy Baru from Athens, uh, Greece. He's visiting us today. Yeah. And uh, so welcome to uh, sunny California. I say that because it rained a little bit today. <laughs> and uh, Καλώς σας βρήκα. Yeah. <laughs> It's so nice to be here with you and... Uh, I really enjoy Southern California um, by far. It's uh, it has many similarities with Greece, right? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> the weather. I think, look at all the things we we did. You know, I yeah. mean, all the places. Yeah. yeah. We drove up to um, to a friend's ranch up in the mountains, and as you're driving up, it feels like Crete, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. a Greek island. I was sending like pictures to my friends, like, am I in California or am I like in Tiklades or Crete or something? So. <laughs> Um, tell us about where, where do you live in Athens? So I live in a suburb of Athens called Kifisia. It's about half an hour from uh, downtown Athens. It's a really nice area with nice uh, shops, nice restaurants. Yeah, I really enjoyed there. Oh, that's great. You know, I visited there last summer. It's a beautiful area. And you got kind of a famous mom. <laughs> Who's your mom? Tell us about So it. my mom is Anna Maria Borou. She's a recipe developer and uh, an art de la table uh, specialist. So, yeah, and she has now her new project, which is a, a consultancy for uh, breakfast projects in uh, in, break, in uh, hotels. Yeah. So she goes to a hotel and she sort of consults them of what to do for Greek breakfast, use like nice local products and all sure, this uh, sure. exciting stuff. No, that, that's great. And so you must have learned something from her along the way here. So, yeah. but why don't you tell us about um, some of the things uh, that you're going to be cooking up here today for us. What are you teaching us? So we we thought we should uh, do a, a, a ceviche, uh, a, a sea bass ceviche. So a ceviche is originally a recipe from Peru. It's a Peruvian recipe, uh, but I have like my own little version of it. <laughs> so it's a uh, fish that it's actually cooked. It's not raw and it's cooked through the acids of lemon, lime, orange and all these, uh, these kind of uh, things. Well, that's terrific. So But, but so we, what we did is we found some sea bass. Oh, we found some great sea bass over here. Delicious. And this is what we're going to be uh, starting off with. And uh, do you want to show us how you did a really good job of okay. cutting one of these pieces? So it's three steps. The first one is to cut the fish and cut it like in small pieces. The second one is the lemon juice. And then it's like the final uh, output. So I'm going to try and take the fish. We've, we've cleaned the one already before the. Thing. And now we're gonna clean this. So we're just gonna try and take the skin out of the out of the fish. So you're you're clean. So you're pressing on the top of the skin. Yeah, I'm pressing on the top and cutting right beneath, so we don't lose any any meat. Oh, fantastic! And doing it slow, so it's gonna be safe and nice. Yeah, it's a technique they use a lot in like restaurants and fish related places. Well, you did a really nice job on the last one, so <laughs> I'm sure this is going to turn out great. So here we just remove the, the skin. The skin. Sure. Uh, oops. Goes. And uh, so here we have the. The both, fillets. The both fillets, they look amazing. So now we're going to cut them in little pieces. Uh, so when you're cutting little pieces, maybe what I should do is get the lemon juice going? Uh, yeah, so what we're going to do, the first part is the fish. The second part is the lemon juice. The thing that the, it's going to sort of cook the fish through its acids. So we're going to use two lemons, two limes, and part of this uh, orange juice. So if you just cut them and then pour them uh, in, the, in the lemon juice. Okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to set this aside here for a moment. I should have thought this through a little bit better. I'll put that side there. I'll put this here and uh, kind of get them out of our way so you guys can see what we're doing. So we're going to create some lemon juice here. So I'm taking these lemons. Oh, man, we're using um, a pepper. Again, last time we used the pepper, it was all over my eyes. It was terrible. So let's, we're going to see how this turns out. Okay. 
just make sure you don't touch your eyes when you're working with this stuff. But uh, so, uh, boy, you've been going all over Los Angeles since oh, you've know. been here, haven't you? <laughs> so, yeah, so you have your Los Angeles T-shirt on, and uh, you took uh, you learned how to use the train quite a bit. Oh yeah, I learned how to use the Amtrak quite a bit. <laughs> Where did you go? Tell us about so, your adventures. Um, I went into Santa Monica and Venice Beach, which is a lovely area. Uh, and the pier was so nice. And it was Sunday, and people were having fun, and they were swimming. I did want to do the roller coaster, but then I was like, nah. No. <laughs> now there is this roller coaster on the pier. So it's like near the sea, so you could hear like uh, people screaming like all along. That was, uh, that was fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, another thing I did is I went to the Dolby Theater, the home of the Oscars. So I had the tour there. That was really, really nice. Uh, and then to Hollywood, the uh, Walk of Fame. I went downtown. I just walked by these massive, you know, skyscrapers and uh, really nice buildings. And I went to the Griffith Park. I did the Hollywood sign hike. A couple oh, of hours wow. of walking. That was, uh, that was actually really fun. That must have been something else. That yeah, hike. yeah. Yeah. So that we can see here some of the... Some of the... Um, the fish? Yeah. Uh, so uh, it needs a bit of time because each, each piece is like, uh, kind of like you know. Yeah, and it's got to sit in the lemon juice. And, lime, and we're putting both lemon and lime in here, right? Exactly, yeah. We're cutting the fish into smaller, like, cubes. You could, you could uh, Yeah, and I, I love that we use sea bus. It's like we use it in Greece so much. Like sea bus and Tipura, which is sea bream, are such a famous like Greek uh, places oh. you can find. Are those like, pretty typical in Greece? Yeah, yeah. And you live in Kephisia. Is that near? Is it is it the coast or is it close uh, to the uh, sea? It's not close to the sea actually. It's uh, in a mountain called Pendeli, close. But you can you can drive half an hour from Kephisia, and you can be like in Marathon, Marathonas, which is a lovely area. Uh, for the famous uh, mar marathon. For the famous uh, marathon, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah and uh, then there's a really nice coast called Sinia, which has like numerous beaches with like the umbrellas and music bars and uh, oh, really nice. nice so nice. Yeah. We have many, it's another uh, really nice area, but it's a bit far from us. We must drive like one and a half hours or something to, <laughs> to get there. So we drive all that. And it's is it a similar vibe here when. Uh, uh, yeah, in southern, I, I, no, we're in Orange County, but uh, when you're here in Southern California, so I did one swimming, as you might have heard already. Oh, that's heard. right. Yeah, you did. And didn't you? I really enjoyed the Pacific Ocean. To be fair, like some really nice waves. Uh, so I stayed what about two hours in the in the beach. It was so nice. Oh. Uh, and you could see like the surfers. We don't have that many surfers in uh, in uh, Greece. We do, but in very specific places. Here, I feel they're like all sure. around, right? <laughs> uh, and that was that was really fun. Yeah, they have a big surf culture here. And Laguna Beach. Oh my God, what a beautiful area this was! Like that is pretty, Laguna isn't Beach. it? So nice. Yeah, we live really close to Laguna Beach, and it's one of our favorite destinations to go to in the summer, yes. especially. And it had like all these like little shops, little food-like places. It's really nice. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, you really got to do quite a bit here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. As you told me, I'm going to need a vacation. After the yeah, vacation. so I think you're going to I think you need some vacation time. Now. Uh, no, but I, it's so far away from Greece. I think I get to do like some adventurous stuff because, you know, I don't know when I'm going to be here again. <laughs> yeah. You'll be here whenever you like. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Right, so we're just finishing up the fish now. Now, do you? I've seen these cut up into small pieces, and they sit without being squeezed. Is that what you would like, or are we cutting them up in small pieces? Uh, no, you should just cut them and squeeze them like the so like the lemons. The yeah, oh, yeah, like the lemons. Like okay. The lemon. So I really like the weather here, like so much sun and like, oh. 
And I've heard like it's all here along nice weather, right? No snow is like the East Coast in the winter, right? No, nothing like that. <laughs> oh, no, that's great. it's uh, <laughs> pretty temperate. I bet, um, well, I guess it snows in Athens, doesn't it? Yeah, it did snow this year quite a lot. We're like, are we in on the U.S. East Coast or something? Yeah, I know, really. <laughs> and, you know, Athens is not like uh, really used to snow. So when we get this amount of snow, everyone's so excited and people are out of the streets and playing and it's, it's just a lovely atmosphere. You know? Yeah. So we finished the fish. Wait, let's see. Let's see. So um, I'm going to just put the fish in here. So, uh, so uh, like nice little uh, bits of uh, fresh fish here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the juice and then we're going to put the juice into the sea bus. And what the juice is going to do, because it has all these acids from the lemon, the lime, the orange, it's actually going to cook the fish. And that's how mm. the ceviche is going to are, are made. And uh, we're going to add some herbs and uh, some olive oil. Uh, and then we're going to just uh, present it. To well, let's see. I think it's pretty I think yes, this is yeah. your the juice now. Here yeah, you can take that. Yeah, and we can that. put a bit of orange as well. Okay, so we do we squeeze the orange juice into this juice? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. You can put it back here, yeah, and I'll hold it back here. And, uh, let's see, that's a big orange, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's like when we I saw that I was like, yeah, I don't see these in Greece like this one. <laughs> okay, so we've got some uh, orange juice, lime juice, and lemon juice mm -hmm. in here. And this is uh, Freddy Baru's famous ceviche. <laughs> We're gonna have a famous uh, oh, ceviche I now wait for you. For the final thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way too excited today for this uh, recipe. They're like, what did you do in California? I got this like amazing ceviche with the sea plus and stuff. <laughs> A lot of juice in there. Okay. Great. Thank you for this Bob. This looks uh, very decorative. Here, let me let me just get a little bit oh, more sorry. of that juice yeah. in there because it's. Yeah. And so what we're gonna do now is we we will put uh, a little bit. Of we're going to put one spoon of sugar just to uh, balance the flavor because it's very acidic. So we're just going to put a spoon of sugar. Okay. And then we're going to put a bit of one spoon of, one spoon of <laughs> uh, colored salt. Of color salt. And then we're going to put a little bit of pepper. I'm going to move that up a little bit oh, for yeah, you sure. so it's better in screen. And then we can put a bit of herbs. So right. let's see, what is that? Let me take a look. It's a, it's a citrus uh, garlic. garlic. Yeah. Okay. Put garlic. Some people like to put parsley as well. Mm -hmm. We're going to cut maybe, because this is going to be the decor, we can cut like these. Uh, we're going to use it for a uh, oh, oh, so this is decor. Okay, yeah, so can use, like, do you want the, me to cut right here? Yeah, the fronts. The front bits. Oh, you want me to cut the front? Yeah, off? yeah, yeah. So it's uh, prettier. Gotcha. So we'll use this this part of the on this. Gotcha. I think it's raining again. Folks, we're in Southern California <laughs> and it's raining again. So I don't know what happened. And uh, we're going to put a bit of olive oil as well. It adds up to the taste so much. Of course. Okay. So a bit of more. So we also have a red onion here. Oh yeah, we're gonna use. Uh, so dice now I'm gonna dice the red onion, red onion, right? Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna. We're gonna just uh, mix a bit the the juice. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it smells lovely. It does. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Just gonna add a bit of more uh, salt. Oops. Too much salt. <laughs> But because it's the fish, the fish is going to absorb the uh, I think that we're good with the uh, onion. Okay. You don't want to dice it anymore? Or? Uh, yeah, you can dice it. And now what but I'm going to do is, okay. I'm going to put the, the juice into the into the ceviche. So I'm just going to pour it. And I'm going to leave it for five minutes. And in five minutes, like if you see it now, uh, it's like real raw, but in five minutes it's, it will be like cooked. Hmm. So I'm just going to uh, stir it up. Stir it up. Now you put the onions in there? Uh, yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to put the onions in. Yeah, that's great. And then we're going to put some cucumber as well. I don't think we need any more onion in this. Yeah, yeah, thing. no, 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 that's okay. great. Thank you. I'll let you go ahead that's and grab nice. some. Okay, we'll get that out of the way. Make some room for the cucumber. Cucumber. Now, how should I cut the cucumber? Just the uh, cucumber. diced as well. Diced as well. Okay. Yeah. Smells so nice. Right, so I'm dicing the cucumbers Great. here. It does smell good. That's what's really good. Yeah, it's nice. Okay. So I guess we probably want to dice it a little bit. Yeah, but yeah, a little bit more. Oh, nice cutting skills, Bob. <laughs> I've been learning. I've been learning yeah. to keep my fingers away from things too. <laughs> yeah, we don't want any injuries. Yeah, do no, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. And then the only thing left is uh, the red chili pepper. <laughs> I hate bit. that thing. Okay. All right, go ahead. Is that is that enough? That should be. Make use of more onion. Okay, I'll cut some more. No, that's 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 good. All right. And now that we need a bit of the red chili, but only a bit, not not much. Now, when you're cutting this, how much do you think you want? Half of it. Not even half. Yeah. Like about this much? Yeah. I don't want to spray out at me. I can, yeah. Yeah, you, you have the gloves. Why don't you take that off? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, and then we're just going to cut one, two, three, four, six. All right. And then we're just going to put this in here as well. Whoa. You getting your eyes? <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful with that. I'm gonna look away. I oh, know that's that's good. Okay, that's good. And then just gonna steer it a little bit as well. Yeah. Um so actually if you see by now uh We'll leave it two or three more minutes, and then uh -huh. we're gonna put it in the in the in the plate. So ceviche are very popular, like uh, in all over the uh, the world. I was studying in London. I would eat like the best sort of Peruvian uh, ceviches. Oh wow! Yeah, I think it's for people that they do not like raw fish, 
they can eat ceviche because it's not actually raw because the acids make uh, yeah they're doing the cooking yeah, yeah, yeah. for so you they're cooking sure. for you so there are many people i mean i'm a sushi lover so i'm like yeah let's go have some sushi they're like raw fish not for me i'm Never. like yeah. well that's why we got the the ceviche recipe <laughs> And the thing with the ceviche recipe, it's, it's so independent recipe. Everyone puts their like own little uh, thing. So we usually put tomatoes. I'm not that fan of tomatoes. So I didn't put like tomatoes in it. Like some people wouldn't like to put like the red chili pepper. They couldn't do it. It's not like a very specific recipe. So, you know, you, you can uh, customize it, let's say. Yeah, customize any way you want. Oh, that's terrific. Well, this all looks, all looks beautiful. Yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, I think you can see that. Let's, let's uh, you can see it here. Um, yeah, let's put it into this camera here. Yeah. So we can see it there. Yeah. So it has already the fish, if you can see, it has become like a uh, way too white. white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It cooked. And now we're going to try and. Um, so let's uh, let's put it in the bowl and everything, and then we'll give it a try. We'll let it rest for a while. Yeah, I yeah, I think it's five to ten minutes. And if people wanted the fish to be like more well done, they can leave it like fifteen or twenty minutes. Yeah. So it's really up to you how you want it. Uh, right, right. Okay. So should we pour so, it in there? Uh, yeah. Is that what we're looking at? Here? Pour it in here. Uh, no, we're just gonna. We don't need all the juice, so we're just gonna. So okay. Pour, uh, Pour part of it. We don't want the juice, so just we mainly pour the the fish. It's, this might take a bit. But it's all right. Okay. And then, sorry, two more spoons, and we are good to go. Oh, this smells so nice. And uh, now, if you want to put the the diced uh, onion, like spring onion. Oh, do you, so you want me to? Oh, no, no, this this is the thing. Just you, these little pieces yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. You can cut a bit more if you want. Yeah, well, just like that. All sprinkle. over the place. Yeah, just okay. Uh, just sprinkle them on. Okay, I'll cut some more. Okay. Ah, oh, that looks beautiful. So, here's the final out outcome. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, this is Safici uh, Seabass uh, uh, sea uh, Freddy style. Here. <laughs> and uh, I'll let the camera oh, here yeah, take a look at it's it as so well. Nice. It's, it's, and you know, we have like the juice. It's fresh from what fresh vegetables. Oh yeah. I've got this. So I'm going to just take. Take like a picture here. Okay, maybe something like this. Well, it's you. it's a homemade recipe. That's the nice thing, you know. You're yeah, like yeah. a group of friends just want to have like they love fish. You just make it. It's easy. It's tasty. You don't need to be like this, uh, you know, very specialist with something. It's it's for everyone really. That's why I love it so much. Well, this looks fantastic. So why don't we sign off and then yeah. we'll let it set some more yeah, in, yeah, in the yeah. juices because it really needs to set for about, um, I guess, uh, 15, 20 minutes yeah. or so. So, um, hey, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We're so pleased to have uh, Freddie Burrow with us today. It was uh, such a treat and such uh, and this is such a treat, too. <laughs> so when you're at home, you can try this out. Tell us what you think and, and uh, comment. And let us know uh, how the dish turned out for you. But, uh, Freddie?
Thank you for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me and I've had like an amazing time with you guys here. You're like so you're like real Greeks, right? Oh, it's part, of the, part, of the, part of the That's process. what I was waiting to hear. That's <laughs> fantastic. Thank you. Well, and we will see you guys uh next week. So uh uh Till next time. Till next time.